Alright, so now we're up to Ripper Roo. Making good progress compared to the first game, because I finished an entire floor minus the relics. And I was doing them in pretty good time. I would say, even with the running boots when I lock them at the end of the game. Where's Cortex? Didn't he say he was going to contact me after 5? Duru. Oh, wow, look at that. AFK animation. Professor Ru, how dare you? Alright, so he's coming from that side. I think it was this side you have to wait. And he blows himself up with the nitrous. Nah. He's gonna start there and end up here. Yo, he's got like a lion's mane. I don't even remember that. The TNT is what I gotta watch. I mean, I apparently he's easier in this game. I'm sure right here. I'm just gonna literally follow him. Ow. Wow, compared to Crash 1, this is a cake for Teabag him, Crash! Oh, they teleported me out. We got a dead dog. Dead doggy. Crash 1, you remember how long that held me there against his boss battle? Only the Twitch viewers know about that one. We managed to get through it. Do level 7 before 6. Alright. R1 to go up. Yo, I remember back, this looked like a Rhesus peanut butter cup. And where's the dog? Bring me the doggy. You. Oh, they they just stopped the imminent threat. <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly. All thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise, Crash. I can't keep the data path open much longer. Crash, you need to find... Finally! I will have my revenge. It's over here. Get your ass over here. Get your ass over here. The Mason, the animal, off the ropes, off the ropes. Aw, oh, man. This is animal cruelty. You get rewarded for animal cruelty. This was the most iconic thing back in the day. Yes, beat his ass. Damn, I have nearly 30 lives. This is going to be so easy to get 99. Yeah. The Mason! Off the ropes! Bad doggy! Alright, so now you got to do level 7 first air crash. Right? Yeah, level 7 is this one. That's the boss area. Wow. I like that change, kind of. I like that they have uh, their own portal. Fun fact. Coco's idle animation with her laptop. How's her going on the crash subreddit? And also, I think... In Crash 3, they have an uncharted thing. Poor bear. Ah, uh, the bear. I love the polar bear too, but you got he's so squishy. You gotta jump on him. Why wouldn't you want to jump on him? Don't do that in real life, kids. I know there's gonna be some guy jumping on his dog now, and then they're gonna blame the power or the Crash Bandicoot. A perfect run up a death platform makes it easier? What? I didn't read it. Do you have to complete the game? Yeah. Oh, this level. The music! Don't enter your waterboard. Don't enter your waterboard. 
the music so I can't. So much carnage. You know, I'm literally just flying through. Oh, there's the secret path right there. Alright, I wonder if I can just jump on the boxes. But I, I wanted to see if I could do the circle thing. Yo, this game is just so much more forgiving with these jumps. Martian Blobfish just jumped on his dog because Paul said so. Oh, God, I'm going to jail. Jumping on the jet board. Let's see what the trophy is. Secret exit area. So this takes me up up into the sky. The, the extra area upstairs, I think. Yeah. There's a red gem in Snowgo. This is the secret portal to get the red gem, right? If I go back in here, it takes me there. Since these aren't unlocked, this is how you get the red gem in Snowgo, right? In the original, you can see Crash 1 Islands from that warp room. I, I, yo, I honestly think I remember seeing islands back there. I, I'm just I'm just checking, just checking. That was a bitch to figure out back in the day. Like, you had to... I don't know how. No internet. You had to actually go outside and communicate with people. Oh, I ran right into a freaking porcupine. Damn you, penguin. Ah! These things were the devil. Oh, fuck. Uh, we thought the shield guy was OP. This is the new shield guy. This little... Little dweeb. I'll beat the shit out of him. Right. Oh! I'm flying! I'm flying! No! Yo, the controls are crazy fast. Let me make sure there's nothing back here. Fuck. Why? Okay. back for no reason. Look at all these wumpa flutes. There's my mask. Don't kill me. In Crash 1, that would have probably killed you. Honestly, they would have showed you a mask and then you die. A lot of nitrous. I'll take a hit for one. Okay, they hit you. Again? Okay, they killed my momentum! Yo. This is back to Crash 1 jumping. They all spin in sync. Fuck all the penguins! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I actually manage to... Oi, oi, oi. Oh, finally! Things just... happen. Imagine I jumped into the water right there and died. That would have been rather interesting. Yo, this water looks nice. Not gonna lie, this water looks pretty really nice. I like this water. And this is why you guys subscribed to watch Paul talk about pretty water. Lots of pretty water up in hurry up. I do say so myself. Get go. Okay. Look at this. They were willing to make me die like- Oh! I was about to jump on this hungry hippo into the water. Alright, here's the bonus area. Let me read the comments one, please. After you get to the death platform, just end the level. You can't get all the boxes. Oh, I should have just... Should have just forgot all about all these things. Damn it. There was no need to go for all these boxes if I'm going from that, that platform. Oh well. Shouldn't have even touched the bonus. This probably just made it harder on me. But yo, these controls, it's so floaty. Floaty controls. Yes. I got lives. I got lives back. Why all the hate for Sonic? Uh, it's just because they killed that franchise. They really did. 
gem. I mean, my There's a death platform. Imagine you die right here. Rip. Cheated death. For the time being, discover a death route. Oh, nah. I was literally just about to jump to toward the plank. Super forgiving. Okay, nothing here. Yo, these things look crazy mean. Holy shit, they look more aggressive. There's my gem. Alright, now we have to come back and get the other one. So we have to get all the boxes on the next run. We got pretty far without dying, but now I actually can die, so... You can barely see that there's a second gem on this thing. It was Murray! It was Murray from the Sly Cooper franchise. That's his family. We jumping on his family. I don't think he'd get the gem. Oh, fuck. Alright, so that's all you can do in that area for now. Snowbiz was level 6. Let's go back here. I've killed Bentley and I've killed Murray. I've destroyed their families. Yeah, this game has such a different feel from Crash 1. It's just, it's just beautiful. Wow, coming in I just killed with one, one punch, man. Low-key, my Twitch chat is family. Yes, we are family. Oh, Hana. The oh, Hana. Ch Yo, he's not turning off the spikes. I will kill you in the name of Nana Stippers. Yo. These things. I unlocked the red gem path. This is why we went to the... Yo, Seth's leading me in the right way because... If I didn't get that, I wouldn't be able to 100% this. 125 fucking boxes? What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Bye. Bad scruff. It looks kind of like a raccoon, right? Right? Well, how could you not say good boy? I didn't even say good boy. I mean, did you want me to say good boy? Good boy. Good boy. I missed an apple. I'm sorry, the fireball. Uh, okay, jump, jump. Oh ho ho! This is what I remember. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought there was gonna be something down there. I'm not even gonna worry about the one fruit bucket. Let's just grab the box and get the hell out here. Oh my God, you dribble! I dribble. There goes the life. Leaving behind a lot of one per fruit ball. It's alright. Yo, this, this little hyperactive porcupine. You remind me of the ride the ride shielder. Oh fuck. Okay, overreacted? Much? Yeah. Sixty-one. Where's a checkpoint when you need it? Go, go, go. Oh.
Oh my god. Oh, that helped me get the hedgehogs. I still call them porcupines. I prefer to jump and hit the circle button. Sly Cooper references all over. Oh! Yo, I forgot about those. They look like part of the environment. Not you. Fucker. Oh. <sighs> Power of the Mason. What's behind me? No? Okay. I, I derped it. I was like, yo. Brain crying. Need food? No, don't take me with you! Oh shit. There's the checkpoint. Yo, they put him right in front of the checkpoint. Demon! Hedgehog! Fuck you, Sonic! It's kind of ironic. They call this game Sonic's Ass. And they got us killing Sonic over here. Bonus level. A life. No! No! I lose all momentum when I stop moving on. I'm gonna chill right here. Look at that explosive range. 18 out of 18. Let's get out of here. It's a porcupine slash hedgehog. 15 boxes left of the area. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah! Yeah, some style. Nothing behind me this time. Stop on your left foot. Don't forget it. Anything in there? Oh, yo. Crash one with these things and the red boxes being hit inside. God damn it. Feels good. Feels good to be free. And there's my gem. Oh my god, this game is so much easier, so much 100% being done in like one run. Nah, I think I'm gonna end it off here, guys. Yo, special shout-outs to Seth, yo, you've guided me through all of this. Thank you guys so much for watching me, see you guys next time. I actually have to edit this and put this on YouTube too, so... Until then, guys, thank you guys for coming out to the stream. It's been one of the greatest streams ever. I'll be seeing you guys till the next one, tomorrow. So, yeah. Peace!